Ahoy, salty dogs! Lenscap here, and today we're playing Star Maid once again. This really is episode 29. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, we're in the B. Okay, I want to show you guys some stuff because I've been working on this ship. Oh, man. First, let's go over here. Oh, uh, those are weapons computers. What? Hey, those are cannon modules. And a explosives and this says missile I'm not in gravity I should be in gravity uh cannon missile well there's a salvage computer somewhere there <laughs> uh yeah we got stuff going on oh my gosh I'm so excited to see this ship in action also check out these animated blocks under the floor that is a really cool effect and I can't wait to be able to fill in the rest of this space I could fill it in with more jump drives um, if, if uh, we get in the core. I'll show you. We're not maxed out um, as far as our jump drives go. But holy crap, dude. That takes so many blocks. Uh, let's see. Here's some more stuff. You can see, it uh, looks like they added this recently, and I just started noticing it. Like, if you look at the ring around the, the shield capacitor, it's, like, glowy. That's cool. If you turn off all the lights, it emits light and stuff. That's cool. Okay. Oh, uh, before we do that, let's sit in this little chair. Hop in our thing and look at this. This ship is filled with stuff. Uh, you can... There, I filled every block that I could find. Every single inch of it. It's full of power, thrusters, shields, um, capacitors, um, jump drive modules, uh, in the back, uh, we filled it up, actually, there's a tiny bit here we could put some stuff in, let's do that real quick, you can always use more shield things, capacitators, capacitors, I think they're, I think they're actually called capacitors now, I, once upon a time, <laughs> uh, in Star Made, they were shield capacitators, I think, no, they still are capacitator. Yeah. So, I like that. Okay. Uh, filled in that space. So, we're cool there. Here's a block we can place. Let's put... Uh, uh, we'll need to select the jump drive computer. Uh, where did I put that? The nav system. This guy. Okay, let's find that empty block again. Whoa, look at all these. Uh, I may not be able to find it with all the... Oh, no. Here it is. Great. Is there one over on this side as well? Uh, nope. Looks good. Okay, so anyway, the point of that whole bit uh, was that she's functional. She can fly. <laughs> Let's fly. Um, so we're going to hop into flight mode. I put a camera up here, as uh, as I said I wanted one. Um, and I removed the camera off the antenna to look at the legs. Um, let's see, that's docking camera. We still have all these fancy cameras in place uh, in various places. So uh, This will be like our combat camera from the front. Um, I've got cannons. Rapid firing cannons, that's cool. Um, and I've got... Cluster missiles with explosives. I don't want to use those uh, just now because I did actually just <laughs> launch them a second ago and they all swarmed my salvaging rig. Uh, whoops. Which, I didn't, I'm not sure why that happened. They um, are factioned to be the same faction, so I'm not quite sure about that. It doesn't look like it took any more damage, though, so hopefully the shields held. Um, okay, so the B ship, let's take a look at stats, um, because we kind of looked at them a second ago. First, here's all my, um, all my equipment. Oh, I have a salvager as well. This is, uh, the salvaging computer is super weak. It's only two, uh, beams. It's for drone recovery, because you don't have a way to tell your drones to redock. I'm just gonna salvage them. Hopefully I can do that. <laughs> I haven't tested that. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's look at stats. Here we are on the bridge. Um, we have over a million power, almost, uh, 12, uh, 1,200,000 
if that makes sense, power, um, recharging at 300,000 energy per second. Um, that is enough to launch the missiles and charge our uh, jump drive, so that's cool. Um, turning speed is slow, but she's a pretty big ship. Thrust, we have 5,000 thrust. Um, potentially, we could add some more thrust, but she's pretty fast. I mean, she gets up to speed relatively quickly. I'm okay with how fast she is. Uh, shields, let's take a look at shields. Um, 257,000 shields at 10 shields per second. Could be better on the shields, honestly, uh, but, but that's okay. I used, like, over a thousand shield recharger blocks and, and, uh, over a thousand shield, um, blocks as well. So we used tons and tons of box, and I'm just out of room. <laughs> that's gonna have to do it. Um, remember, though, it is a drone ship, right? So its primary defense and, and offense, to a point, um, are the drones themselves. Um, so they're kind of like decoys um, as well as uh, uh, cannons and stuff. Um, I want to find an asteroid cluster away from my ship, so maybe we can fire these missiles at it. Um, the drones, okay, we want to go for a test flight today, uh, in the Queen Bee, um, and, oh, let's do, let's do this also, shift, shift, uh, where, what, oh, uh, oh, I gotcha, we need to switch camera angles, let's switch back to this, this overhead view, and then we can shift, shift, and zoom out. There we go. Shift, shift, zoom out. There's our B. Let's launch the drones real fast. Check this out, guys. It looks so awesome. Oh, man. The suspense. This ship is so... I'm just so excited about how, how it turned out. I'm so happy with it. Uh, we really need to get those front legs on so that, uh, so that we can finish it up. Boom, and the drones come out. <laughs> and then you click it again, and it all closes. I noticed the door gets stuck on that drone before it shuts all the way, but it doesn't seem to bug out or anything, so I'm okay with that. Um, and then once we launch the drone, um, it should give the door a little bit... It should give the arms a little bit more time to retract. Um, so possibly that will resolve that. Um, today, we want to take the, uh, the Queen Bee on a test flight. But before we can actually test the combat effectiveness, the drones need a little bit of work, right? We don't have a way to link, uh, a way to conveniently uh, link the wireless modules on the drones with the wireless modules in the B. So there's not really a convenient way um, to tell the drones to undock. So that's what we're going to do today, and then we're going to hopefully go assault a pirate station. Uh, I haven't done very much with the stations. You know, we, uh, we, we attempted it that one time in the Phalanx, but we just did not have the wherewithal um, to take out the pirate ships as well as the station itself. So hopefully the, uh, the Queen Bee will do a little bit better at it for us. So let's go ahead and hop out of our core here. We'll stand up. And we want to uh, take one of these drones out of the bay. Uh, you know what? We should actually launch the drones. Hit the drone launch. There. Now we can hop out. And we'll just hop in one of these drones, edit it, save a blueprint, and then uh, we'll, we'll hop. We'll delete the other ones and respawn um, the drones along with the proper one. Okay. So there's our plan for today's episode. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, we're going to hop in this guy. We're going to do this one. We're going to hop in it. Let's hit T to get our rail docker. Um, and a lot of you guys probably haven't seen the effectiveness of these drones, so we're going to we'll take a look at what all they what kind of features and and stuff they have. Um, if we go into build mode here cuz the drones aren't going to change that much. Um, it has a little bit of thrust, but it's tiny, tiny, tiny ship. 330 shields um, at 5 shields per second, but it doesn't need a lot. It, honestly, we could even remove the shields probably and be okay with it. Um, it just uses regular hull, so it's not heavily armored either. Um, as far as weapons go, it has a cannon, rapid fire cannon, and a missile combined with a missile. I believe that is 5... 
four blocks long. Okay. So four blocks in total. So two missiles and two additional missiles. Um, and our cannons are equally small. Um, but, you know, they're, they're distractions and minor defense. Okay, let's, uh, let's get back into build mode. Where is that wireless module? I think... Uh, where is it? There's my missile computer. There's the wireless module. Okay. So we need to remove this. Remove this. Uh, remove this. Let's see. What can we put there? Uh, what? What did the... We could put another thruster. Uh, okay, where is that wireless? Here we go. Let's split these up so we can put the wireless modules on the bar. We're just going to put it here. That's all. That's all we needed to do. Um, we will put something here as a filler. Uh, what? Let's put another shield. Well, let's put a shield recharger because we only get five per second, so... That'll help, and that gives us, uh, let's see, shields, 11 per second, so that more than doubled, um, so that's nice. We'll put our black hole wedge back, and there we go. There's our drone modification. That's super straightforward. That's all we need. So now let's hit uh, our catalog and blueprints. We're going to save the blueprint. We're going to call this Hornet Drone Mark II. Okay, so now it's saved, and now what we can do is, uh, let's redock. Bada bing, bada bing, there we go, redocked. So that one's good, now we just need to replace these other three drones with the Mark II version. Um, I am going to have to buy, let's see, where's the shop? I thought it was right near the shop, I am. Uh, I am going to have to buy a few more rechargers, so let me go ahead and get the drones all updated, ready to go. <laughs> I will assign the AI and the wireless modules. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then we'll go find a pirate station and, and tackle that mother mother. Alright, so activate, so uh, C on the wireless module, V on the dock. That way they're linked up. Um, so when we activate this, it undocks the drone. Uh, let's hop back into flight mode. I've already docked the other three and set up their uh, their modules and whatnot. So let's go ahead and dock this sucker. If I ever can. There we go. Docked. Beautiful. So now uh, everybody's ready. We're all docked. Let's hop into the bee, the queen bee. We will uh, link the wireless modules, save a blueprint, <laughs> now that we've got everything complete. By the way, check out this hallway. Isn't it cool? Yeah, wicked cool. Um, okay, I need to make some redundancy on that door, though, is the only thing, because uh, I feel like if I leave that door open, then we're kind of exposed to the vacuum of space. Uh, okay, we need to do five is launch drones. Uh, let's hop in our camera, and we'll double shift. If you hit the right shift, then it does this. It kind of unlocks the camera like this, so you can move your mouse without moving the ship and, and see your ship. So that's cool. Uh, you just hit shift once again to zoom in. If you hold left shift and scroll your mouse wheel, then you can zoom in and out. That's how I'm doing that. Um, all right, let's hop out of the core. Now we need to go back to the drone bay. And I'm going to turn on gravity because it's a little bit easier to walk around the ship with gravity on. And hop down in here. Uh, now we need to get our logic situated properly so that the activation modules activate properly. So we need to hit C on this and come over to this one and hit V on that. Okay, wireless logic blocks connected. So now we'll take that one, we'll hit C on it, and V on that one. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and activate the Bobby AI. We're going to aim at selected target. We'll do that on this one. Uh, let's aim at any. 
name it any. Uh, we'll do the same thing for this one. Just activate. Okay, now we got two more ships. We're going to hit C on this. Can I just jump down here? I can. Great. And V on this. We'll activate this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this guy while we're down here. And then we'll grab the last wireless module. Hook it up. Here we go. C on that. And hop down. And V on that. Now we're all hooked up. So now, if everything works properly, the drones will launch. <laughs> I will actually launch when we hit the launch drones button. And then hopefully they go and attack pirate ships. Um, that's, that's the idea anyway. So, ah, we need to do, let's, okay, we need to make a blueprint as well uh, before we lose the Queen Bee in, fi in a fight. <laughs> um, so let's hop in here. We're going to hit T and click on catalog. There's a shortcut for this, but I don't freaking know what it is. <laughs> Uh, here's the previ here's a previous iteration of the queen bee. We're just going to delete this and save blueprint of innard structure. This will save our structure and all docked entities. We're gonna call this one queen bee, and let's find it in the list. There it is. So now, if we load this in the shipyard. Uh, we should be able to repair it and stuff. Speaking of repair, I didn't know this was a thing. You can click repairs here in the shop and apparently pay for repairs. I didn't know that was a thing. So, that's cool. Alright, let's look on the map. We need a pirate station, and I think I have just the one, actually. Um, we had... Let's see, where is... Derelict Alpha Pirate Station, Barrett's Hideaway. Here we go. So, a long, long time ago, we claimed a station here. Um, we're going to plot path to there. Uh, but we claimed this station. And it's like a Derelict D, I think, the Delta. Whichever one the giant ship is. Um, anyway, we claimed one of those. We faction blocked it. And you know what? Let's use our warp drive. Which I thought was charged. Oh, it's not charged. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll charge it up. Um, but yeah, we claimed this. There's a pirate station nearby. Now, we never did get actually attacked by pirates um, at that station. But I figured that's a good target for us to start. Because it's kind of a threat. I mean, we don't really live at that station anymore. Um, but uh, we can, you know, go about fighting it. So that'll be a blast. Let's check. So this jump drive, it's not uh, like max efficiency or whatever, but it, it seems to work pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and charge it up again. Oh, we got two pirate stations in range? Really? Eta, Alpha, Beta. That's the one we want to target. So, it's right there. So, it's a beta. I don't know what that means. Uh, we're going to remove the waypoint. Can you? How do you remove a waypoint? I don't know, except to go there. <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll go there anyway. Uh, let's charge up our warp drive in case things get hairy. And then we'll, uh, we'll go in and fight them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, the uh, the cannons work. The missiles work. Um, let's get let's go ahead and get into our combat camera right here at the front of the ship. And here we go. Let's get launch drones on the bar and prepared. Um, so as soon as we see Izanths come out, we can attack them. Okay, we're being shot at. Still being shot at. Let's uh, let's get some missiles going. We'll fire missiles. And we can go ahead and launch our drones as well. Let's do that. Um, I don't know if we need to be still to launch the drones. So... 
Let's see. I don't see my drones yet. Oh, there's green. I see him. Yes. Oh, and they're shooting their missiles. Very nice. Hopefully they're not fighting each other. <laughs> that would be pretty awful. Um, now I only see two green arrows. Let's back up. Okay, two of those did not launch for some reason. Let's go ahead and shut the doors. We'll have to debug later. Um, as we focus on this pirate ship. So let's whittle down on this guy. His shields are gone. I see turrets. There we go. There's turrets. We're gonna... We want to take out the turrets. Alright, ship's holding up pretty well. Uh, we're just sitting here slow still, basically launching rockets every time they're available. Oh, here comes missiles. Are those swarming at me? Uh, those may have come from a drone, actually. <laughs> One of my drones, that's awesome. Okay, uh, but our ship is not having any trouble standing up to their fire, so I'm actually going to hop out of the core and see if we can't figure out why those other two drones didn't launch. See if we can't get them to launch. Uh, real quickly. Actually, let's... Uh, this is going to be really dangerous. We're going to go ahead and act, initiate the launch drones command. Oh, man. This is combat for sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, shields. Okay. Taking hits. Here we go. Now, why aren't these guys launching? There we go. Now it went. Now they went. I guess maybe they just weren't close enough before. Or something, and they just didn't... I'm not sure what the problem was. Either way, it worked. Let's hop back in our core. Yes, yes. Okay, hopefully we didn't sustain too much damage from that. Um, let's shut the drone bay also. Okay, so we got all of our drones in action. We're uh, slowly but surely taking out the turrets on this pirate station. Um, it looks like that's what my missiles are trying to do first. I see damage on some of them. So that's good. We'll just have to keep it up. And I see uh, numbers from the drones shooting them, too. That's awesome. Uh, we'll just keep shooting the pirate station until all the turrets are gone. And hopefully it spawns in some Izans. I don't know why I'm not getting uh, Izans. Maybe this station doesn't summon them until, uh, until later or something. Uh, we haven't actually done any structural damage to this station yet. So, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. Oh, there we go. There, its armor's going down now. I see its armor going down, so that's awesome. I think we might be able to do this in this ship. Yes! Especially with my four drones and my missiles. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Um... Those are my missiles tracking my drone. I don't know why that happened. I don't like it very much. Okay, this doesn't appear to be making very much progress. So I think we're going to try something different. Let's see if we can't find the faction block on this thing. Um, I believe we've taken out all of its defenses. So we're going to try and... Get in there. Okay, the missiles are attacking my drones for some reason. I'm not sure what that's all about, but we're going to have to do something about that eventually. Um, I'm assuming the faction block is somewhere near the purple, so... Uh, let's see what we can do about getting into it. It could be in that kind of area there as well. Hmm. Okay, this is what we want targeted. We haven't done very much damage to this thing. Its shields are still full, but let's, uh, we took out all of its turrets, so... <laughs> let's go in. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you know, I need a torch, don't I, for this? And I don't have one. Uh, let's turn off the gravity. And go in. Hopefully those, uh... 
spinny, crazy things don't really have uh, guns on them. <laughs> that would be bad, because I'm just an astronaut floating around here. We'd have to do a, uh, a rescue mission on the Queen Bee. I thought about putting an AI module on the bee itself as well, uh, but I don't want my ship flying away from me. Okay, let's see. What have we got? It definitely has guns. It's mostly destroyed, though, whatever it is. I did a lot of damage to it. Okay, I see gravity. Here's something. What's this? Here's a sign. Shield power. Okay, here's a lift. What's down here? Okay, I don't know where their faction block is going to be. Uh, let's, let's take this lift. Okay, can't take the lift. We'll have to float. Oh man, that thing is going crazy down there. Hopefully it doesn't get us. There's a dock. Uh oh. It looks like a turret. It looks like it's a turret. Uh, it appears to be the same as the turrets. Okay. So maybe it's they're just turrets that bugged out or something? Okay, gravity there. Don't see what's... Here's a green thing. Is this the faction module? It is. I need a torch. Okay, let's go... Ah, man, I think you have to have the NPC for that. Okay, we're gonna hop back into Queen Bee. Uh, take off. We're gonna go find an NPC real quick. Buy a torch. Wait, maybe I have one on me. I've got uh, grapple, marker, power supply, and healing. Okay, we're going to go find a torch. Okay, here we are back at the station. Meanwhile, at the station of Lenscap's fighting it. I don't know, the Fortress of Solitude or something. Uh, okay, I'm still seeing damage numbers, so there's still drones up. Uh, that's good. Let's hop out of this. We've got our torch in hand. Now we are prepared. And now we know for every other engagement uh, with pirate stations that we have, we need that. Um, let's deactivate gravity. It's moving. It's not moving fast. That's okay. And this is gonna let us deactivate that uh, that salvage block or that faction block. That's awesome. Uh, that turret appears to have moved. <laughs> it was down there before, um, unless they. All moved, but uh, our drone is taking care of it for us. At least drawing fire, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I wonder, can I get in through the top? No, it's glass. That's okay, though. I mean, we're an astronaut, so we can float around a little bit. Okay, here we go. We're coming up. Oh, man, we gotta go even lower. So we gotta come through here. Let's see if we can't remember where that faction block was. Okay, here's the center. This is how we're gonna get in. There's gravity, but I can't use their gravity. These appear to be doors. Okay, so this is like a, like a hangar, sort of. And this is more like control level, I guess. There's the faction block there. Let's go ahead and take out the faction block. Aha! Radio transmission intercepted. Okay. There we go. So now we'll maybe get uh, get some Izans coming. I see all four of my drones on the mini map are orbiting. This is only doing one damage. I wonder how long I have to sit here and do this. Oh, okay. That's progress. So the block is taking damage. I see. I thought it would be relatively quicker than this, but I guess you know you want to be able to uh, to defend yourself. For sure. I would hate for somebody to come into my station and start wrecking my faction block and get through it super easy. So, I appreciate this from a development standpoint. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we have a lot of cool stuff in our inventory. I'm glad you don't drop your items when you die. Um, you know, that might be something interesting to implement as well if uh, if, PB, if PvP becomes a big focus on this game. I know that uh, games such as like Minecraft, for example, uh, definitely wasn't developed with PvP in mind, but this most recent update they did on it um, is very PvP-centric, so like a lot of people really like PvP on it. Even though it's, it's a building game, kind of. Um, I would be interested in doing some of that kind of stuff. I think that would be fun, you know, like, build a station and lasers and rockets and stuff, and uh, I think that would be a blast. You know, maybe just, like, players on the ground, like, boots on the ground PvP. As well as ship PvP would be fun, too, uh, I think. And I think the B drone is doing pretty well so far. I'd like to see how she stands up against, two, um, you know, maybe another ship of her class. Looks like we've almost destroyed this faction module. Just a couple more hits. I don't know what happens when you break the faction block. So, I'm not really sure there. Uh, drones appear to be going fine. And the station has transmitted several times that it's under attack, but I don't see any Isents coming in. Still so, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, like I said before, I really wanted to test the drones. Oh, suck it, Pirate Station. You are mine now. So, what does that mean? Now that we've destroyed that. Pirate Hub by Chris the Nightbringer. Oh, I've seen his videos on YouTube. What's up, Chris? Your station is awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like this. The convenient access to the... Uh, uh, that faction module was really well done as well. Uh, you know, it, it makes it difficult to get to because of all the turrets. However, um, it's not impossible to find, which I think is crucial. You know, you can't... You could hide your faction module, but man, that's kind of... That's pretty cheaty feeling to me. So, this station looks awesome. I definitely like it. I like the little uh, bits of detail and stuff all over. Um, all the neat docking platforms and stuff everywhere. This is very cool. Uh, so now that we've smashed the faction module, what happens? Like, is this an inactive pirate station now? Uh, do we have to go and destroy those other turrets, I wonder? That one's almost down. We could hop in the B and finish it off. That thing has quit moving. Decayed. Okay, so... I think they are decayed, so I think we won. We did it. Yeah, well, we did it! We took out a pirate station! Yeah, we did it! That's our first station, guys. I'm so glad you could be here with me to check it out. Our drones work awesome. Uh, they seem to do super, super well. So I've got that Queen Bee here uh, docked at the Salty Shipyard. Uh, we're going to try and figure out shipyards... Um, between episodes and see if we can't figure uh, out how they work, you know, so that we can add the drones back into the drone base really easily. <laughs> um, if possible, you know, if we can. If not, I can use the shipyard to make the drones again, uh, just like mass produce them that way. And, uh, you know, have seven or ten of them maybe docked on spots on the... Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. You know, maybe this ends up looking like a beehive instead of a... Uh, oh my gosh, what a cool idea. Uh, who knows? I don't. Let's, uh, we'll find out next episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked the video, leave a like. Um, if you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. I'm doing this kind of stuff all the time. Stay tuned.